Somebody made the motion and move somebody it. Seconded. seconded it. Yeah, any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Continuing in next year. Yes, 2015, the Council of Small Towns uh, Town Meeting Annual Event uh, is January 14th. Uh, as you may have read in the paper, the state uh, is going to be having a major uh, uh, financial discussion as they're in a serious deficit. 15 and 16. So this will be an important meeting to go to. Uh, I'm planning to go. Uh, yeah. Are you, you guys yeah. coming? Yeah. Good. I think it's an, it's an interesting event. Yeah. Okay. It, it's a Wednesday again. It is a Wednesday. Okay. Uh, so we'll all go to that. Next, we have a whole list of uh, reappointments to consider. Uh, there are some openings, and I would suggest that we just go down through the list on the uh, people willing to be reappointed so that we keep our forums up. There will be some vacancies that we can uh, talk about or get people lined up for our next time. Um, Let's see, but, so I'll just start at the top. Uh, Dave Delinsky, uh, Economic Development Commission. Dave Delinsky uh, is willing to be reappointed. Dave Battistoni uh, declined reappointment. I think you saw his email. He has business um, engagements. He'll keep him out of town. So anyway, I would make a motion to reappoint David Delinsky, who's done a great job on the Economic Development Committee. That's second time. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, next, the Northwest uh, Mental Regional Health Board. Will Brecker is a longtime member of that. I make a motion that we reappoint him to a one year term. Okay. Any discussion? I heard from his boss. He does a great job representing uh, people with mental health issues on the regional board. So. Do you know get any kind of an update or... I'm sure Earl would be glad to come in and talk. Apparently he's very uh, involved with that. Uh, or I could just ask, I could ask him for... We do get a, you know, we have their budget request where they talk about stuff, but I could, yeah. I'm sure he'd be glad to write us a report while we do that. Yeah, or something. There's just so much, so many issues going on with that now with yeah. the closing of those two offices in Lakeville yeah. and where people are going to go from there. So I'm just wondering what's what they're talking about yeah. going forward and, and if they have any ideas of how to help things along. Okay. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Zoning Board of Appeals alternate Fred Scoble III will be reappointed to a six-year term because he's a, young, a youngster. So. Uh, so he will be reappointed to the year 2020. Uh, I'll make that uh, motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, Sydney Case Fund, three-year term. Jimmy Potter uh, is willing to be reappointed for a three-year term. Uh, done a good job on that, so I would be glad to make that motion. Here, second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Conservation Commission has a couple of vacancies. Uh, we'll be looking for members for that. Uh, Northwestern Regional Tourism Bis District, Mark Hampson is willing to be reappointed for one year term. Uh, I would make that motion. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Uh, who's Tom Kruger Commission? Phil Hart happens to be here. I am here. Okay. Can you give a speech? So let's, can you give us a speech, a report? <laughs> well, sure, I'll give you a speech. Um, I've been on the commission for many years. 
Um, as you know, the Commission is looking for a more secure arrangement concerning uh, the management and protection of the river. I'd like to be there when we become wild and scenic. So that's where we've been headed. So I want to be there when it happens. Okay. I'm glad to serve again, even if it does not happen. <laughs> well, All right, you're not, you're not holding your breath. <laughs> that's good. So I'm happy to serve. It's a, it's a, it's a good commission. We do good work. All right. Sir, reappoint Phil to the Houston County River Commission. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Thank you, Phil. I know you've, you're, you've gone to a lot of meetings. Yeah, you're welcome. It's a good group. Uh, Cornwall, uh, uh, Cornwall Grange Trust Fund, Susan Zaccardi is uh, willing to be reappointed for a three year term. So I'll make that motion to uh, be appointed. <coughs> Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. What do they fund? They fund uh, projects throughout town that are consistent with the Grange, mostly agricultural things. I'm not sure how. I can't think of the last thing they funded. They did some stuff up at the beach. I think they did some things for the Ag Fair. But it's basically uh, some money that was left over when the Cornwall Grange amalgamated with the Ellsworth Grange. How much is in the farm for that? I don't know. Um, Economic Development Commission, uh, Todd Piker, willing to be reappointed three year term. So uh, Any discussion? No. No. They're going to just. It'll be, at the next, it'll be at the next meeting. Yeah. Um, Were any nominations given? No. It was a sort of general talk, but nothing really. Talk was that time, didn't want to do any. Right, yeah. Right. Done. There were some people that might be interested. So. Okay. And Todd would be glad to stay on it, just not as a chair. So, all those in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. Aye. Unfortunately, Jane Prentice, who's stepping down after five okay. years of. Great work at the Committee uh, for Seniors. So I will write her a letter thanking her. She really was instrumental in getting that committee going. You'll do the same for the others that would decline? David, yeah. Brian, and Cheryl? Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, and on your next page is a list of people. Park and Rec, Conservation Commission, Creamer Lake Study Group, and then Wetlands Alternate, ZBA Alternate. Uh, what I would propose we do, in addition to the Lakeville Journal, put an article in the Chronicle. This is the time where there are some vacancies. If you're interested in these boards, let us know. And then hopefully we can get these filled up. But I don't think there's any quorum issues immediately, but we'll check on that. Conservation Commission, right? They're yeah, that's there, yeah, yeah. looks possible. So maybe we'll try to fill that up to the, fill that up to the uh, quorum rule. Okay, anything else on appointments? You have to remind me that tag or work is Historian, yes. Yes, I did talk to, and Fira suggests I did talk to Dodie, uh, Dodie Clark, and I also talked to Jeremy Brecker about splitting the job. I talked to Jeremy last year. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready, but I talked to him and said, Dodie's willing to try it, he might be ready to try it. Oh, so good. I think that would be good. Maybe that's a good idea to get shared responsibility. Right. Somebody feels like it's too much for one person. Neither one of them was really interested in telling people how old their house was, <laughs> which is their primary job. But they have a lot of good Cornwall stories between them. So. Yeah. Anyway, at least we'll get somebody out there mm -hmm. uh, to feel the questions. Okay, uh, that's appointments. Uh, hazardous mitigation plan. We have gotten to the point where we have uh, can make a resolution to adopt it, and then and then we are eligible meeting our requirements. Whatever, some state 
funding or federal funding for things like the generator and for those qualifier houses. So it's whereas so whereas the town of Cornwall uh, has historically experienced severe damage from natural hazards and it continues to be vulnerable to the effects of those natural hazards profiled in the plan, e.g. flooding, high wind, thunderstorms, uh, winter storms, earthquakes, dam failures, wildflowers, wild no wild fires, not wild flowers. <laughs> Plague of, plague of locusts, no, anyway, if I have to, wild fires, not wild flowers, resulting in loss of property and life, economic hardship, and threats to public health and safety, and whereas the town of Cornwall developed and received conditional approval from the Federal Emergency Management Agency for its hazard mitigation plan under the requirements of 44 CFR 201.6, and whereas committee hearings were held in 2014 and 2013, and public input was gathered by several methods regarding the development and review of the hazard mitigation plan, and whereas the plan specifically addresses the hazard mitigation strategies and the plan maintenance procedures for the town of Cornwall, and whereas the plan recommends several hazard mitigation actions, projects that will provide mitigation for specific natural hazards that impact the town of Cornwall with respect to protecting people and property from loss associated with those hazards and whereas the adoption of this plan will make the town of Cornwall eligible for funding to alleviate the impacts of future hazards. Now, therefore, it be resolved by the Board of Selectmen that the plan is hereby adopted as official plan of the town of Cornwall uh, to the respective official identified mediation strategy of the plan are hereby directed to pursue implementation of the recommended, recommended actions assigned to them. Three, future revisions in the plan maintenance required by 44 CFR 201.6 and FEMA are hereby adopted as part of this resolution for a period of five years from the date of this resolution and for an annual report on the progress implementation of the elements of plan shall be presented to the Board of Selectmen. So is there a, is there a uh, motion to adopt this <coughs> lengthy resolution? Is there a second? I'll second that. Does anybody know what 44 CFR 201 points are? Uh, no, we're, I think it was enough. Uh, uh, so, any discussion? Yeah, so who is appointed to implement all of those things? I think, I think it's divided up, but mostly it's me. First selectman yeah. and E and D are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, when we were going through it, reviewing the drafts, there were some points that you had come up with right. that we had come up with that we wanted to change. Yeah. Were they all changed or at least addressed yeah. in the outcomes? Right. I believe you took off budgeting for snow and move on roofs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Our, as long as all of our issues were taken care of and addressed. Right. Okay. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, next, West Cornwall Firehouse. Uh, unfortunately, in the line of duty uh, last week, uh, a fire truck uh, returning from a call was backed into the door and the corner of West Cornwall Firehouse. Damage was expected by the building official and a structural engineer. Temporary fix has been installed. Insurance has been contacted with the Kerman to recover the damage. Uh, there's a thousand dollar deductible. Uh, Ralph Desmoudis is, uh, has a quote to repair of eighteen thousand dollars. Eighteen thousand dollars. Here's his quote. It, uh, I don't really want to put that out there, but a veteran fire. fire. Yes. Yes. So it is. It did hit the corner. Didn't do much damage to the truck, but it cracked the bricks going around the corner. So you got to go around the corner. It's cracked all the way to the top. It's, uh, the fire department used to have a uh, award at the bank called the Golden Brick, but we're not. We need to do that. Thank you.
keep those bricks in. <laughs> well, he's going to save the electrical outlet and the lights. <laughs> yeah, that's right there. So, did you have to drag all the brick around? <laughs> no, I, I, never, I never was a good enough driver to follow So, uh, so what I, I would say, a motion to, to what we do is we send this quote to the insurance company. They review it. We send them pictures, and then they'll send an adjuster out or not. Or they may say, I've talked to Chief Scoville, and the idea of using Ralph is good because it's getting cold. And we don't last week for the whole and repair the firehouse and then go on vacation. Ralph will be on and get it done, being aware of. We asked the second contractor for a bid, but he was too busy. Is there a dollar amount that you would ask that you should then get from two or three different quotes? Is there a threshold? Or a two? Well, I would say $10,000, something that's an emergency. This is a more peculiar set of circumstances, which this is. And we, they said they had preferred vendors, of which you know, I have no idea who those people are or where they work or whether they would get right on it. You said or they not. have preferred the insurance company. Oh. So, I don't know who preferred them to stop and work for the Right, they right. want to be insurance. So, here you have. Right. Right, but I mean, most of the work, I mean, most of the dollar amounts we spent this year have been bid out, you know, for trucks. Something like this is in the situation. Um, when can you do it? I haven't talked to him, but I imagine we can get on it. So, but first, we have to get approved by the uh, I'm going to see him tomorrow. So I'll, I'll let you know. We need to have it be, you know, like the roof of the garage where we accept that he's good, but then you can't get to it. Right.
Are there any thoughts or suggestions on changing this challenge? Added to this. I mean, we, Barb and I made this up. So I don't know if you think there's anything in here that shouldn't be in here or anything that needs to be added, I think it sort of covers the basis of what we want to do. Sort of, the, to be honest, the last line, um, even the last two, the last paragraph is fairly important. Probably should be. That's a line. But yeah, well, that's both of these. Right. Who's doing field work and is responsible for completing. I'm not so sure about the in-house revaluation. That's debatable. Depending on, I mean, it is, it is true this time. I don't know Right, but the completing the grant list is, yeah, that's really the, the, uh, that's the old right, being responsible. That's the old right. Um, to me, that's the definition of job. Everything else is a function of creating and completing the parameters. First thing. I think the hours expected are is important also. And in all of our sort of part-time positions, like even the building official, we have a job description for them one or two hours. Expected yeah. to be on right now his business card says Monday, Wednesday, Friday. These they are also Thursday. Right. So, you know, yeah, salary. he decides yeah. to retire the next guy comes on. We have something that's going to say exactly what we're looking for. We have a contract with him, which is just the truth. And the social service director. Yeah, I think we have something. Every time we hire, like every time we hire somebody, come up with something like this. So everyone does have some kind of. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you're, you're an employee at Williams, and you're not on the contract. You put it in time to be fired, right? Is that how it is? Well, with cops. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Just, but isn't that true with any of these? No, they're signing us. They're signing us. Well, actually, this this is. So, the, so with the building official, we actually have fire marshal. We actually have a contract. Maybe we should, or maybe we should put it here hired as an employee at oil, so that we have that. I mean, no, according to this. Well, to me, the fact that they have a contract 